What's happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about what to sell on eBay for beginners. And specifically, we're going to be diving into coats and jackets, right? It's getting cold out. The seasons are changing and you're going to see a lot more winter jackets and coats uh, available for sale at thrift stores. So I want to kind of share with you and take you behind the scenes. This is going to be a screen share video. I'm going to dive into the eBay sold listings and I want to share with you some coats and jackets that, that are selling on eBay that have already sold on eBay to kind of give you an idea of what to be on the lookout for. There's millions of different brands that are out there, hundreds of thousands of brands out there, but there's certain brands that you want to focus on. There's certain brands that are going to sell quicker, that have a bigger market, that will make you a decent amount of money. And when it comes to jackets, remember, you know, not only with jackets, but with any item that you sell on eBay, you've got the time to list it, right? You've got your cost of goods sold. You've got fees associated with listing and also selling fees. You have shipping fees. And then you have a profit that you have to turn at the end of the day. So it's really important, especially if you're brand new and you're, you know, selling on eBay for a beginner. You want to make sure that you pick the right brand because the right brand and the right type of item is going to have the right market. It's going to have the right selling time for you. And eventually it's going to have the right profit margin for you because I see a lot of people, they get into clothing and, um, you know, they buy these items and, and really all items will sell. Clothing items will sell. It's a very versatile category to sell in on eBay. But not all items are going to sell for good enough profit. Not all items are going to sell quick enough for you. So that's kind of like the learning process there. So we're going to dive into this video. I know it's an early morning video, but I'm kind of switching things up today. Uh, my personal trainer actually called out on me today. Well, I already knew in advance, but he had something going on. So I've got a little free time this morning to uh, share some information with you. So I figured no better than to talk about coats and jackets because it's cold outside. I'm looking outside right now. I haven't stepped out yet, but it's probably like 30, 35 degrees. So um, it's an early morning. Uh, do me a big favor, guys. If you like these early morning live streams, go down below and hit that like button. Let me know that you're enjoying these videos and also leave a comment and let me know, you know, how's everything going for you so far? What do you got planned for today? What do you got planned for the weekend? And uh, we'll dive right into this broadcast. So let me shout some people out. Arbitrage Architect, what's going on, man? Good to hear from you. Anyone else sitting at their nine to five waiting for the day to end so they can start their real job? I bet you there's a lot of people out there, man. I bet you there's a lot of people out there. Hoover the Real says, look at how many of you are up and about. That's what I like to see. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Hoover says, I'm up to find those fingerlings. Hey, go get them. Okay, so I think we're going to jump into it. Uh, Chicago Crown Hustler in the house, Treasure Hustlers, Deb M. Watching live. Good to see you. So let me share the screen with you guys. Let's jump into this video. And we should be good to go right about now. And I'm going to just kind of go through some brands and share my experiences with them and kind of give you some heads up in terms of what you should be looking for with coats and jackets. Um, first thing that I want to let you know that I did when I went into eBay, so you can do this as well at home, is I typed in men's clothing and then I went under coats and jackets under categories. Uh, if you scroll down on the left, there's different criteria that you can choose to filter. Um, I decided to filter pre-owned only because if you're going to thrift stores and garage sales, um, which are the most common ways to find inventory to sell on eBay, you're going to find most of them used. So I hit pre-owned. Um, also under the price, I did $40 to $100. That's kind of like what I like to focus on when I'm when I'm dealing with jackets. Um, obviously, there's jackets that sell for two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500, but they're harder to come across. Bread and butter, forty to hundred dollars. So that's what I want to study. That's what I want to focus. Uh, I'm also going to hit buy it now, just because I like that format. And uh, U.S. only, so there's no discrepancy in currency. And then under show only, sold listings, so I can see everything that has already sold. Because if it's sold before, then it'll probably sell again. Um, first item I see right off the bat, and I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this already, is a. Uh, Patagonia down jacket. It's one of those thin uh, kind of puffer jackets right here. These are extremely popular. And believe it or not, 
you can find these at the thrift store. They're not going to be the cheapest. Sometimes you'll have to pay 20, 25. Um, I picked one of these up in Austin, Texas, believe it or not, for 30 a while back. Um, never sold it. Ended up breaking the zipper. I wore it myself. I kind of destroyed it. Um, but I found another red one as well. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I found that at a thrift store. I think it was like 20 and I ended up selling that. I think I sold that for... Um, I think the, the market value was somewhere around like $75 with the wear that it had. Uh, but I sell these all the time. Patagonia is a phenomenal brand. It's bread and butter. It's high end and it always sells. You know, there's not many brands that I can say always sell, like regardless of what it is. But if you find a Patagonia hat to a t-shirt to, um, you know, even dress shirts, they don't have a ton of them out there, but jackets, anything. Patagonia is just one of those brands that sells uh, phenomenally all year round. So Patagonia right there, take a look out for that. I love that. That's a great style of a jacket. Here's a brand. I haven't sold a ton of it, um, but I actually personally like this brand. I think it's a really high quality brand. The resale isn't amazing. You do want to focus on like unique, bigger, kind of heavier different types of items when it comes to this brand. I mean, not everything will sell as well, but when it comes to coats and jackets, actually Zara is a pretty decent brand. I actually have this, this brand in my, uh, in my local mall. I don't have a ton of experience selling this brand, uh, but my gut intuition is saying it's a, it has good resale. Um, let me know what you guys think about Zara, but I think it's a very high quality brand, a couple steps up from express and they make really nice designer clothing. People really like this and it's expensive in the store. Um, so if you do find a Zara jacket, again, I'm not an expert when it comes to this brand. I don't have a ton of um, knowledge and, ex and firsthand experience with this brand. But from my experience and from what I've just seen researching, um, I just have a good gut feeling about this brand. Jen, Jen uh, Texas 512, good to see you, Jen, says, I actually sell Zara any chance I get. So, you know, when you sell clothing for a while, even if you don't have a ton of experience with a particular brand, when you spend a lot of time to sold listings, you'll just get a feel for certain brands. And that's just one of those brands where it doesn't like, when I think of Zara, I don't think it's the best, but it's quality. It's decent. And you don't see a ton of them out there. So definitely be on the lookout for Zara. I wish I had more information to share. So uh, if you guys watched my uh, 2018, uh, 2018 goals video, you noticed that um, I have a goal to buy a Corvette Stingray in 2018. I actually might get it um, by the end of the year just to get a deal on it, you know me, because um, at the end of the year, who's really buying Corvettes in the winter? Well, I am to get a good deal, but I'm looking at a Corvette Stingray, and uh, it just brought this up to my mind. I saw it on the sold listings. Corvette jacket, 40th anniversary issue, $40 right here. Um, be on the lookout for jackets that have really well-known and like cult-like following brands like Porsche, um, Corvette, Ferrari, even BMW, even like Honda and Toyota stuff can do decent, even though it's kind of like mid-grade cars. Um, but be on the lookout for stuff like this. Uh, this appears to be a satin jacket, which first and foremost, I love satin jackets. If you could find any of the uh, chalk line jackets, you know, the Raiders or any sport teams, um, they can do really, really well. I love satin jackets. 40th anniversary, Chevy Corvette, 40 bucks. You know, not selling for a ton of money, but I can tell you right now, I bet you this would have sold for a lot more. I don't, I don't know any of the comp, the comparable sales or the comps on this, but I'm just telling you right now, satin jacket, Corvette, 40th anniversary. I'd be thinking over a hundred dollars, but I think they were a little shy on the selling price for a couple reasons. Number one, they only have two feedback, which is a kind of, you know, doesn't give a lot of buyer confidence. Uh, number two, it looks like I see free local pickup. So this might have been only local pickup. I'm not sure. That's that's interesting, but I see shipping free local pickup. Um, what else was there? There was something else that I wanted to mention. Let me see. The description. What's going on with the description? No measurements in the description. I didn't know that, but I just had a feeling. Not a ton of information in the item specifics right here, and there's not a lot of pictures as well. So very poor quality listing. For whoever, whoever this was, nothing, nothing against you. Maybe you're just a beginner on eBay, but definitely, um, you know, add more pictures, add more of a description, item specifics. The pictures was a big thing right there. So that was a little unfortunate. Um, you know, Chicago crown hustler is in the comments saying I sold a Corvette hat last night. That's really cool. 
Um, sorry, I'm just looking through the comments right now. Looks like we have 50 people watching live right now. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Looks like we got a lot of early birds in the house. Glad to see you guys up early. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Show some love. Definitely uh, helps these videos out. And also, I forgot to mention, if you guys haven't already checked out my new podcast, you can find that at rakenprofit.com slash iTunes. We've already got nine episodes up. So definitely go head over there. Check out the podcast. You can listen on the road. You can have me right in your ear. Um, but anyways, here's another really good brand right here. I don't see this a ton at thrift stores, but it's out there. Comparable to Patagonia, somewhat comparable to the North Phase, Arcteryx, very well-known outdoor brands. Uh, here's a, a brand called Marmot, M-A-R-M-O-T. This is a downfill jacket, one of those puffer jackets. Very nice item right here. I uh, don't have a ton to say about this. It's just a high quality um, right here, Marmot. They make a lot of various types of items if you go over to like rei you'll see this brand there um i believe i don't go to a ton of reis but uh very just very well known high quality expensive in the stores uh this sold for 68.99 definitely one of those brands that if you could find sub 20 you're probably going to be in the money trucker jack it's within a levi brand can definitely bring in a good Good money during the fall and winter times. Here we have a 80s Levi's trucker jacket. Uh, it's got a little medium acid wash to it. Distressed look. These do extremely well. Um, some better than others. I'm not an, you know, a Levi's expert, but I know the older it is, um, typically the better. If you could find any really big sized um, Levi's trucker jackets, those can do extremely well. They're just hard to come across. Uh, but it sold for $75. Definitely looks like somewhat of an older tag. Uh, apparently from the, uh, the description and the title, it's from the 80s. So definitely do your research when you find these Levi's items. I would actually look at a lot of Levi's items to get a feel for uh, the tags what's current, what's older, and if you could find older Levi's denim jackets, I mean, these things can bring in good money. I feel like a lot of people pass them up, um, but just a great, great jacket right there to be on the lookout for. Interesting right here. This is a brand that I think a lot of people will pass up, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein is one of those brands. I don't like to necessarily buy everything within this brand, um, but some of the suits and jackets do extremely well. Nice pinstripe uh, suits can can bring it and fetch a good dollar. Uh, here we have a cashmere blend, woolen cashmere blend uh, overcoat. Looks like it's a two button. It's one of those long overcoats, professional, uh, very nice size 48 regular right here. Sold for $62.29. So definitely be on the lookout for Calvin Klein items like this, these bigger, heavier items. Uh, do consider though that they're going to be bigger and heavier. So it's going to cost more to ship. So you want to make sure you get in these things, you know, sub $10. It's probably a pretty safe price. Uh, but here's the tag, Calvin Klein. You know, I don't really mess with many of the button front shirts or the polo shirts or the T-shirts necessarily. Um, I try to focus on items that sell for $30, $40, $50 plus, just considering I do it part-time. Uh, but if you're doing more of a higher volume business model on eBay, you can definitely mess with some of the uh, lower end Calvin Klein items. But just know, you know, a lot of them are going to sell for $10, $15, that range. Uh, but nothing wrong with that. Nice, nice overcoat right here. $62.29. Seller charge $12.95. Shipping. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's keep going down the line. The one thing I want to mention uh, when it comes to coats and jackets is a lot of those brands that, again, I would necessarily pass up, like the Aeropostels, the Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, the Hollister. You know, Calvin Klein, some of the brands that are just kind of mid grade, um, you know, they sell for 10, 15, 20 bucks within t shirts and polo shirts. A lot of those items that I would typically pass up can actually bring in when you start messing with the coats and jackets. And that's one of the great things about coats and jackets is they, they just fetch a higher price, they're more expensive. And when winter comes around, people want those items, but they don't want to go to Hollister and spend 120, 140. God only knows how much they're charging for these jackets. So don't rule out Postel, um, Abercrombie and Fitch, Hollister. We buy the, the smaller end t-shirt button front. It was a jacket. These do extremely well. Uh, this sold for $49.98, a little military style. Um, 
title coat twill jacket medium navy blue nice item stylish uh be careful with your pictures though i can already tell the the um they they took this a little close and this one farther away they had some issues with the light and contrast so just be careful some some buyers may be ignorant to the fact that photography is a little challenging at times and they'll they'll think that it looks like this but when in all actuality it looks like that so just be careful with that but nice item nice sale uh 49.98 we got Regina Moody in the house. Regina, I saw your comment about where, where the ladies at. We got to definitely get some ladies on the uh, the thrift battle, but I appreciate your comment. And um, on Regina, let me know. Uh, Arbitrage Architect says, I sold a James Dean leather jacket a few months ago. Not super pricey, but I got it cheap $1 and sold it for 80 Arbitrage Architect, I'm going to tell you right now, you overpaid. There is no money buying something for a dollar and flipping it for 80 Horrible deal. That's awesome. Uh, Diane Craig says, late bird, I work the graveyard. Oh, man. That graveyard shift has got to be brutal. It's a coffee, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm going to call you A. Rivera because I don't know how to pronounce your first name. Uh, I apologize about that. I have sold lots of flannel lined jeans. Very cool. Mike Tobias. I don't know why I said it like that. Is that right? Smash that like button. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you. Just looking through the comments to see if there's any comments coming through. Regina Moody says, all wool coats are killing for me. I have the customer pay. There you go. Proof is in the pudding. Let's go back into the sold listings. See if we can find some more jackets that sold. There's a nice jersey. Giorgio Armani uh, overcoat, similar to that Calvin Klein that we saw uh, a couple minutes ago. Those do well. Be on the lookout for those. Uh, let's keep going. I want to try to find something cool that I can share with you guys. Let's see. Ooh, this is really nice. You know, a lot of people pass on Tommy Hilfiger. If you could find the old 90s, early 2000s Tommy Hilfiger, you know that, that custom black, blue, uh, excuse me, black, red, yellow kind of color. Look at that. I mean, these do extremely well. I've sold one for over, I think, 120 a couple of years ago. But this is a cool uh, vintage Tommy Hilfiger jacket. I said vintage. I don't know. Maybe it's not vintage. I could be wrong. But, um, oh, man, just beautiful colors. If you could find a big logo, any embroideries, crazy colors. I mean, you're talking 80, 100, 150, 200 plus on some of these Tommy Hilfiger uh, vintage jackets. And actually, it looks like the title says vintage, so maybe it is vintage. I'm not sure. Uh, nice description, bunch, bunch of measurements, description uh, about the jacket, some features, water-resistant, lightweight, multiple pocket stylus retro, nylon, and polyester material. Uh, very cool. Nice item right there. Definitely do not pass up on any vintage Tommy Hilfiger items, especially jackets. Tommy Hilfiger always sell fast for me. Exactly. Okay, so let's go back into the sold listings. <clears throat> brand that sells pretty well when it comes to jackets. I never really bought and sold this brand. I've sold it probably, I don't know, five times or so. Carhartt, um, very popular, very in demand. Uh, people love this brand, but for some reason, like, over the last couple of years, this this brand, the price is just through the roof in my local thrift stores. I mean, they'll they'll price these Carhartts more than Patagonias. Um, so I don't really pick them up a lot. But here's the Carhartt jean full zip jacket right here. Uh, hooded blanket line, which is really unique and interesting. Uh, cool color, just looks different. Sold for $62.50 right here. It just goes to prove, you know, there is a huge market on eBay for clothing. There's so many types of clothing, brands, categories. Uh, unique styles, colors, factors that can sway the price. That's one of the things that I really love about clothing is by you know growing your knowledge, you can really get a step up on the competition. And even the thrift stores, they don't know. I'm telling the difference between like this Carhartt jacket and maybe just a normal tan one that doesn't have a hood, that's not blanket lined. And it can mean all the difference in the world in terms of resale value. So definitely a cool example of a, a coat and jacket that sells on eBay. Uh, let's keep looking. So here's another brand that 
underrated. Um, Peter Millar, I love this brand, does extremely well. T-shirts, uh, well, not necessarily T-shirts, but um, uh, what was I going to say? Polo shirts, golf shirts, they do extremely well on this brand. Um, Peter Millar, definitely expensive. I think of Peter Millar, I think of higher end. Um it turns me off a little bit. I don't know, but certain items, if it's a unique type of item like this, like this quilted vest, I already knew off the bat it was going to make good money. Sold for $67 right here. Don't buy everything Peter Millar. Do do some research. I don't want to go too deep into it, but do your research on Peter Millar. Like some of the bland dress shirts don't do as well. Even some of the golf shirts don't do as well. Lotting them up might be a good idea, but there's the tag right there. Peter Millar brand. I respect Peter Millar. Uh, so this is something, I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to just open it up. Refrigerware. Looks like we got a little parka style item right here. Uh, refrigerware. I'm not familiar with this. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably something who, uh, some a type of item that someone who works in refrigerators often or on a truck or some type of cold climate. Uh, would wear this. So I'm not, you know, really familiar with the refrigerator right here, uh, but just a unique item. It's different. It's weird. Uh, and when it comes to clothing, something that's made with quality, I can already tell this is quality. It's got the little snap on belt going around. But, I mean, that's just cool. Very cool item. 59 there. Uh, I don't have much to say about it, but just very cool. And geez, this person's freaking name is huge. Georgie Girl 530 Loves Clover. Very interesting name right there. Patagonia items are just so beautiful right here. Look at that. 75, 59. That's just a unique color. Another Carhartt, another Tommy Hilfiger. These are all decent brands to be on the lookout for. Of course, and one of the best brands to mess with when it comes to coats and jackets. If you find something leather, you better pick it up. It's a lot of money. Um, great brand right there. A lot of people ask about <clears throat> Columbia when it comes to jackets and coats. Um, here's what I have to say about that. A lot of them don't sell that well. Um, again, I don't know everything when it comes to Columbia. It's, it's, it's really hard to be an expert in each brand because these brands just run so deep really well with Columbia. That's what I'm going to say, but most of them aren't going to sell for that much money. Like, honestly, I'm not even sure why this sold for $69.99. I would have to do some research. Like I would never assume it would sell for that much. Um, but Patagonia, definitely go into the sold listings and study it. There's opportunities there, but it's, I don't know. It's one of those brands that don't get me super excited. Regina says, sold a refrigerator. Uh, Salvos, $3, sold for $60. That's cool. People are talking about Schmidt in the comments. Yeah, another decent brand. Green Pastures 1000 says, here on the farm, we always wear Carhartt. So... Sounds like the farm life is all about Carhartt. Raken, I would work the largest wholesale apparel company in the U.S. How can I contact you? I work for the largest wholesale apparel company in the U.S. How can I contact you? Send me an email over at rakenprofit at gmail.com, and uh, yeah, we could chit-chat a little bit. Dad Fabric says, I've got a $1,500 hickey suit, hickey Freeman suit. Wrinkled. Uh, is it worth having it pressed? I would look into sold listings and see what it's selling for. It's going to depend upon the style, condition, um, the tag. There's a lot of different factors, the size. So I would try to figure out what it's selling for. If it's selling for like 40 to 50, I probably wouldn't. I would just sell it the way it is. Um, resale, like a strong comparable sales of you know, 150, 200, 250, and there's a market for it and it's selling on a regular basis, then I would probably spend the 20 bucks or so to get it uh, pressed. But I don't know how that works with getting an item pressed that's new with tags. So I don't know. Do your research on that. Um, it sounds like you might have an opportunity there. Jason Hughes says, Rakin, thank you for getting me started reselling. You are welcome, you know? Very grateful for, for YouTube, not only be able to help you guys, but that's how I got started as well, just watching videos and learning from people. So I like to spread the wealth, and uh, it's just a lot of fun making these videos. So, um, ooh, check out this jacket right here. This is a John Varvatos jacket right here. Uh, I'm not sure of what 
this is called. I see the title saying it's a pea coat, but this is, I don't know, almost looks like something like in the military or something. It's just weird. Very unique item right here. All the buttons running across the full zip right next to it. Interesting collar. I don't know how to describe this, but wow, this is a freaking weird little jacket right here. John Varvatos is a phenomenal brand. John Varvatos, put it in y'all memory banks. Don't forget about it. Go get it. Make that money. John Varvatos, great brand. Uh, even with shoes, can do very, very well. I actually just passed on a pair the other day. They were a little beat up. Uh, I saw the college picker. He picked up some uh, some John Varvatos shoes the other day as well. But uh, very interesting, odd, unique, weird clothing item that sold for 95 bucks. Who would have thought? Eddie Bauer. Again, I put Eddie Bauer in the Columbia bucket. Uh, what I mean by that is I don't think of Columbia as like, uh, excuse me, I don't think of Eddie Bauer as like a brand that I like to pick up very often. But here's an example of a jacket that sold for $75. I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't know why this sold for $75. I don't. Um, clothing, though, there's so much knowledge out there. You know, there's so many things I don't know um, that it's it's humbling and it's a great experience to just build out a niche and a knowledge base and in clothing because it just runs so deep. Uh, so for seventy five, I don't know why. Maybe it's a very maybe it's an older model. It's it's rare. Maybe it's because it's got the hood. Um, I don't know. But it sold for seventy five, which is very interesting. Like this is something I can see sitting at the thrift store for, you know, sub ten dollars. You know, sub ten bucks. You can charge your customer shipping. It looks like they charged nine dollars. Um, you know, you get hit with the fees. You get hit with everything, and you make fifty bucks. I mean, how cool is that? All right, let's pick out one more jacket, guys. I got to get running, and then I'll answer a couple more questions. Let's see, what can we pick out here? What can we pick out for the last jacket? Oh, I know better than going with Orvis. I love Orvis, not only with uh, sport coats and jackets, um, but really with all types of items, even button front shirts. This is a cool plaid lined uh, ch checkered Orvis jacket. It appears to be suede leather just from the outside. Let me take a look at what this says. Uh, um, So I see the keyword moleskin. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Maybe it's like a type of leather. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but either either way, Orvis, when it comes to jackets, anything leather, anything unique, I mean, check that out. That that cool little, that looks like leather. Uh, that little shoulder patch, that's freaking cool. That is super nice. I love the lining inside. Um, cool item, $100 right there, Orvis. Definitely a great brand to be on the lookout for. So definitely... It, look it up and do some research. Uh, I'm going to pop back onto video. Let me, let me jump out of there. Boom, I'm back in action. Uh, 58 people watching live, 34 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming into the broadcast and hanging out with me for a little bit. Uh, so much to learn, so much knowledge out there. It's just up to you really to you know learn as much as you possibly can and then go out there and apply it, right? See what you can find. And uh, you know, you're not always going to get lucky. I go to the fifth store plenty of times. I don't. You know, the game has changed a bit with clothing in my area. Prices have gone up. Um, I mean, that's the big thing right there. Prices have gone up. So there's a lot of opportunities I still see, but the price is a little higher. So sometimes you got to just wait for um, an item to fall through the cracks. And what I mean by that is, you know, somebody prices it in the back, the back room of the thrift store, and they price it much less than what it should be priced for. Um, there's opportunities out there like like that all the time. So find those items that fall through the cracks. Obviously going to half off sales, Savers, they have a ton of them. Um, here in, 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 in Connecticut, every Sunday, they have a different color. They have a color coding system and a new color will go half off. So you can find items like that. They have half off day sales or, or, or um, excuse me, fill a bag day sales, sometimes at Salvation Armies. So you know, just go out there looking for the deals. You're not going to hit a home run every single time with clothing, but I think clothing is a great item to have in your toolbox, you know, while you're doing your books, electronics, your bicycles, um, you know, maybe you have a Kindle publishing business on the side. You know, I'm all about multiple income streams. I don't put all my eggs in any basket. Um, and there's times where I don't sell clothing at all. I don't focus on it. I don't list clothing and I just do Amazon or there's times you know, I'm focused on launching products for my Shopify store. So I like to kind of jump around. That's me personally. But I'll tell you right now, if 
I'm having a hard time finding clothing. I'm not going to be hurt because I've got books or I've got YouTube or I've got different income streams. So the point I'm trying to make is don't put all your eggs in, in one basket when it, when it comes to clothing. I don't think that's the smartest idea, but I think it's very ignorant not to have clothing in your arsenal because you're going to come across those Orvis jackets. You're going to come across um, those vintage Tommy Hilfiger items. You're going to come across those you know, rare Pendleton items that can bring you in 80, 100, 150 bucks. I mean, yesterday I picked up a really cool item. I'll show you on, uh, I don't know if you can see this on Instagram or not. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Rake and Profit, um, I picked up this item right here. This is a Boston Celtics um, Hardwood Classics Mitchell and S jacket. Um, wool, 100% wool, $24.99 I paid for it, but it's new with tags. Comps are coming in around 125 to think like up to 200 something like that so i'm quoting it around like 150 i think i'll get for it but by having clothing in my arsenal having that basic knowledge and for me definitely more than basic but for you if you just have a basic knowledge i mean that's a hundred dollar profit that i just scooped up really really quick so that was a really cool interesting jacket that i found yesterday uh hardwood classics mitchell and s boston celtics wool jacket full zip uh, check out my Instagram, Rake and Profit. I, I share a bunch of cool things over there. Um, but yeah, go out there and make it happen. Let me see if there's anything going on in the uh, comments. Green Pastures says, Steve, very smart to diversify. Just looking through some of the comments. Uh, Marilyn or, or Marlene. I'm not sure what that says, but Mrs. Wilson, I picked up an Orvis shirt that I can't figure out if it's male or female. Definitely take a look to see what side the buttons are on. That'll, that'll let you know. Thrift M2 says, I just sold a Harley Davidson women's uh, boots. New, paid 12. I earned a price, sold overnight for 72. That's cool. I actually sold a pair of uh, Harley Davidson women's boots a couple months ago. Got it from a garage sale. I think I paid sub 10 and sold it for like 40 or 50. They were kind of weird sized but uh definitely an awesome item to be on the lookout for tk i will be on the lookout for your email for sure we got polish check what's going on brother uk and polish chap is watching rakingprofit.com that's right how do you package your jackets uh it's really going to depend upon a couple different things um sometimes i'll just go straight priority sometimes i'll go um regional a or excuse me regional b usually regional a is too small uh, so sometimes i go regional boxes flat rate boxes sometimes i go straight just weight postal right just priority um it just depends on the location on the size on the weight it depends so i usually go into ebay and just kind of play around with the numbers and uh, the different shipping options to see what the the cheapest method is <laughs> Carol, what's going on? Good to see you. Carol's always coming in and hanging out. So appreciate you watching live. Just looking to see if there's any more comments coming in. I think that's about it. So I think I'm going to wrap this show up, guys. Um, if any more comments come in, I apologize. But leave a comment down below after this video, and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you guys. But I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching this live stream. Hopefully it helped you to get maybe motivated or to recognize some brands that you could be on the lookout for to buy and flip on eBay, especially if you're, you know, an eBay beginner or you're selling on eBay and you're, you're just getting started first 30 days, 60 days. It's very important to learn what items, what brands to be on the lookout for, what brands have a market. And by, you know, watching this video and, and studying the sole listings, you're going to put yourself in a position to succeed. So um, congratulations to you. Tip my hat. Thanks for watching live. Again, if you haven't already had a chance, Hit the like button down below. It definitely helps out a lot. Subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check out the new podcast at rakingprofit.com slash iTunes. It's called The Rake and Profit Show. And um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.